Hey, let's join our friend Kevin Kelly as he gets ethnic with a Japanese handsaw this time. My name is Kevin Kelly, I'm from Brooklyn Hardscape, and today we're going to install a Back to Nature 3D background, the Amazonas. This is a great background, it's a foam with a hardened front. It's heavy duty, takes the scratching, takes a beating, great for all kinds of fish, turtles. In our, in our day and age, not all aquariums are equal in size, they all come in different sizes. We're going to have to cut it, but I'll show you how to install it and cut it and make it fit. So we're going to cut along here all the way down. We're gonna leave just enough room so that we can use the one stage epoxy to glue it in and fit it inside the aquarium. I'm measuring so that I know where to cut all along, all the way through. It's a pretty consistent uh, right angle on the Back to Nature, so it shouldn't be a problem just to go like this. Now that we have it measured, we're gonna step outside and uh, give it a chop because uh, we don't want to make a mess inside. Why I was cutting outside, I also added two vent holes. This is because we're gonna have filtration on the inside. This is a great way to hide your equipment. We're gonna fill the back with filter media and with a pump and we'll have circulation throughout the back. It's an excellent way to have no equipment inside your tank. We're gonna install this by first gluing the, back, the bottom and then once it's in place, we're gonna glue along the sides. Get along the ends, we're gonna take a nozzle, and we're gonna heat it up and bend it into an angle. Now that I've got the background secured, we're gonna have to disguise some of the uh, epoxy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some sand and work it into the drying epoxy. At different stages, of the curing process, you can come back and add more sand. Just to hide it, you, nobody needs to see the black uh, epoxy that you're using. And to give your aquascape a little more of a, a natural feel, you can also look at the Back to Nature modules. You can do all kinds of crazy things. Have it come out of the water to hide your inflow. Add a little more to the the base of the aquarium, cut it up, chop it up, maybe you know, give some shape around the branches. Maybe you want to hide some. You can take this and have a little bit of an overflow or a shadow. There's all kinds of endless options you can do. Don't be afraid to cut up your uh, 3D background. Uh, do all kinds of different things. There's Endless options. Each piece is handmade, so each piece is a little, a little different. None, are, none of them are ever the same. Now that you know how to set up your back to nature background, you can have a little bit of nature in your aquarium. I am Kevin Kelly, and I'm from Brooklyn Hardscape.
Hey, Kevin didn't lose a finger, so I bet you like what you saw. That means like and subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notifications to stay in the loop.